quiet quitting. Well, before we get started, you see we have a guest and he has a tendency, this is Judah, he has a tendency to come and get on my desk and my workspace when I'm in my office. And normally I, you know, close my door before I'm about to um, share with you. And today my daughter said, no, just let him stay. And so I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, usually he just kind of is in his space. And what's so crazy about it is I was never a cat girl, like ever. Um, I love dogs. I actually, when I was married, we raised uh, Rottweilers and then Cane Corsos. And I was just never a cat girl. But we find out that my daughter is allergic to dogs. And so here we are <laughs> with Judah. He has a sister named Cookie. So anyway, enough about that. Let's get into this quiet quitting. So I've been seeing this phase or um, these words pop up in several places, uh, quiet quitting. I saw it in an article. I saw it on a few videos and it just sparked my curiosity. So I looked it up to see, you know, what it was. And what it what it is, is it's like a phenomenon, but not really, that's going on in corporate America where employees are doing the very bare minimal, just enough to get by on their jobs. And I thought about it and I said, this isn't just an issue or a concept in corporate America, it happens a lot with entrepreneurs and small business owners um, in their business as well. And so I thought it was a topic to come on and share with you. It may be a moment of awareness or you may have experienced it before. Maybe you're not in that season now or maybe you are. But I wanna share what that looks like from an entrepreneurial standpoint so that you can identify it and then make the necessary changes, whatever they may need to be in your business. So of course, you know, I've got some notes that I took for you all. And so um, <clears throat> here's one of the things that happens. So you only do what's absolutely necessary. And what that ends up being is subpar, right? So you do the bare minimum. Maybe it's something that you've been doing for quite some time and you kind of know it like the back of your hand and you know maybe you don't do it the way that you did it when you first started a thing um, you may put off tasks that don't like impact your daily actions so much necessarily sort of kind of but it actually does over time it's a compound effect it is those hidden reasons why business slows up, why you get to a certain income level and then it goes back down again, um, they may appear to not matter. Those tasks that you need to do, the thing you said you were going to do, the investment you said you were going to make, whatever the thing is that you keep putting off because it doesn't seem important, like you can get enough done for today to get the thing done, but... Uh, there's a compound effect that happens. Maybe you stop doing your referral system. Maybe you no longer email your list or text your list. Maybe you no longer show up regularly on social media. Whatever those things are that you were previously doing that gave you the momentum, maybe you've quit on them, right? And so quiet quitting. And oftentimes what that looks like, because many of you are ambitious. And so your ambition to the public may look like 100%, but you know in your heart that you are only giving it about 40%, whether it's because you really don't know what to do next. This often is a soundboard for quiet, quiet quitting because you get to a point in your business where you don't know what to do next. You don't know how to manage your time or the systems in your business or what is transpiring, but you haven't sought out any help. Um, quiet quitting, it normally comes from dissatisfaction. And the entrepreneurial journey is so easy to become dissatisfied and then say to yourself, well, I've done everything that I know to do, which is often a very, very true statement. Everything that you know 
to do. Have you been quiet quitting? Are you a quitter? Now, I know that's like maybe a weird question to hear, but maybe it's that you are a quitter. Listen, I know I was at that phase in my life at one point where I would start something and never finish it. And then I'd have all of these unfinished things just lingering, not only in in my head, but in my heart and in my workspace and just everywhere because I was an excellent starter, but I wasn't as strong of a finisher. And I began to do things that required me to commit, whether anyone knew it or not, because most of the things that you quietly quit on, you never told anybody about it. You never shared the vision or the dream, which is why I think it's important to have people around you that you can tell your vision. I didn't say you got to tell it to all of social media, but there it's important to have someone hold you accountable. I remember the first time I experienced a mastermind, um, a friend and I, friend of mine and I challenged each other to um, complete a number of things. We'd had, I personally had things on my list that had been on my list for two to three years. And once I began masterminding in 45 days, um, I think I had 23 things. And in 45 days, 15 of those things had been completed because I had accountability, because I told someone about it. Because it was something that I, if I quit on, somebody else was looking at me like, what's up, right? And so are you a quitter? Now, this is huge because it rolls over into so many areas. You can see a pattern, not just in your business, but also in other areas of your life. Relation, you quit relationships, it could be jobs, whatever the thing may be, but a quiet quitter. Things like high stress, burnout, no work-life balance, those things can spark on that quitting feeling, right? And as it relates to your business, it's normally because you don't have systems and you don't have clarity on your next move. And then there's a simple fact that it could simply be your strategy, right? Maybe you're lacking purpose and meaning as it relates to your business. I think I did a video recently where I talked about how we as entrepreneurs have a tendency to open businesses and just open them and just kind of go with the flow with no real target. So, you know, creativity could be lost. Listen, we were designed to be creative, to create with God, and actually we're the image of God, right? And so our creativity is important to our process and our creativity is often lost every time we quit. Right, Because as we continue to go, like if you just keep going, you get a second wind. If you do the thing that you know you should do, even if it's get help, accountability is, is huge. I shared with you all how masterminding with um, a friend of mine was huge for my career. And then it began to create other habits. I talked about how I posted every single day for an entire year. And then I went live three to four times a week for three to four years straight, and I never, ever missed. But it beca it's because I began developing the habit of not quitting. Number one, I recognized that I'd been quiet quitting. I went to college. I didn't finish that, right? I had been quiet quitting. And when I recognized that I wasn't ever really getting where I wanted to go, I was always starting over. I was always saying, oh, I'm doing something new, but not realizing the reason was because I was quietly quitting. And so if you're at a space in your business and you say, you know what? I've been quietly quitting. I've been quiet quitting on my business in different areas. And you like added support and accountability. I invite you to join the five day prep my brand challenge. Now, this is happening starting on Black Friday, and I know you're like, this is Thanksgiving, you know, a holiday time, but what will you do? Netflix and chill? And then next year, around the same time, what will be the reason then? There's no better time than now. And then it's absolutely an amazing time because this is the Black Friday edition. Uh, this is the sixth round of the Prep My Brand Challenge, and I've discounted it. It's a no-brainer. There are two ways to join, general admission or uh, VIP. 
and VIP gets a bonus live coaching call with me. Uh, you also get uh, free access to my Money Mindset Masterclass. And then I'll be doing a training on thriving on any economy on that VIP call. So if you feel you've been quiet quitting, if you feel you need added support and accountability to get your momentum back, to get some answers and some clarity, be sure to join us inside the five-day Prep My Brand Challenge. Listen, it's a decision. That's really what it is. So we're not only going to be strong, strong starters, but we're also going to be strong finishers. It will change your results tremendously. Listen, what better way to commit to not quitting than to invest in yourself, hold yourself accountable, and get support for five days in a row where you're focused on your business in a different way, right? Where you aren't doing just enough to get by, just enough to keep it going, right? So that's my take, quiet quitting. I know that this is something that they're talking about in corporate America, but as a business coach, I see this all the time with clients. You've been quiet quitting. This is why you're going up and down in your results. And once you get accountability and support and you get momentum, your creativity sparks. There's a desire to go to the next level. The link to join us will be somewhere around this video. Have you been quiet quitting?